Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today's video is all about cardio workout versus weight training after the age of 50. As we age, it's important to maintain on our physical health and fitness, but what's the best way to do that? In this video, we'll explore the benefits of both cardio and weight training, and provide you with some tips and exercises to help you get started. So, grab a pen and paper because you'll definitely want to take notes. But before we continue, make sure to subscribe to Health Code 50 Plus, and stick around until the end, because we have some actionable steps that you can implement right away, to kickstart your fitness journey. Let's start with cardio workouts. Cardio exercises, such as running, cycling, and swimming, are great for improving cardiovascular health and endurance. They can also help with weight loss, which is important for reducing the risk of heart disease and other health issues. In addition, cardio workouts can improve blood flow and circulation, which can help reduce the risk of heart disease and stroke. They can also help with weight management, which is important as we age, and our metabolism slows down. However, as we age, it's important to be careful with high-impact exercises that can put stress on our joints. For example, running on hard surfaces can be tough on our knees and hips. Instead, consider low-impact cardio options such as swimming, cycling, or brisk walking. As we age, our cardiovascular system may not work as efficiently as it once did, so it's important to keep it working by doing exercises that get your heart rate up. Here are some examples of cardio exercises that are generally considered suitable for people aged 50 and above. 1. Walking. This low-impact exercise is a great way to get your heart rate up without putting too much stress on your joints. It can be done anywhere and can help improve cardiovascular health. You can start with a brisk walk for 30 minutes a day and gradually increase the duration or intensity as your fitness improves. 2. Swimming. Swimming is a great option for those who want a full body workout without putting stress on their joints. It is another low impact exercise that can be a great way to get your heart rate up and a great exercise for improving cardiovascular health, endurance, and muscle strength. 3. Cycling. Cycling is another low impact exercise that can be done indoors or outdoors. You can cycle outdoors on a bike or use a stationary bike indoors. It's a great way to get your heart rate up and improve cardiovascular health. You can start with a few minutes of cycling and gradually build up to longer durations or higher intensities. 4. Dancing. Dancing is a fun way to get your heart rate up and improve cardiovascular health. It can also help improve balance and coordination. You can take a dance class or dance to your favorite music at home. 5. Rowing. Rowing is a low-impact exercise that can help improve cardiovascular health, endurance, and muscle strength. You can use a rowing machine at the gym, or purchase one for home use. It's always a good idea to consult with a healthcare professional before starting a new exercise routine, especially if you have any underlying health conditions or concerns. They can help you determine the best exercises for your individual needs and goals. Now, let's talk about weight training. Resistance training, such as weightlifting, can help improve muscular strength and bone density, which is important for maintaining our physical health as we age. It can also help with weight management and reducing the risk of age-related muscle loss. Additionally, weight training can help improve bone density, which is important for reducing the risk of osteoporosis. It can also help improve balance and stability, which can reduce the risk of falls and injuries. However, it's important to start slowly and gradually increase the intensity of your workouts. This will help prevent injury and ensure that you're not overexerting yourself. Additionally, it's important to focus on proper form and technique to avoid injury. Here are some examples of weight training exercises that are generally considered suitable for people aged 50 and above. 1. Body weight exercises. Body weight exercises are a great way to get started with weight training. These exercises use your own body weight as resistance and can be performed anywhere. Examples include squats, lunges, push-ups, and planks. 2. Free weights. Free weights are another option for weight training. Exercises using dumbbells, barbells, or kettlebells can help improve muscular strength and bone density. 
they can be used for a variety of exercises, such as bicep curls, chest press, and squats. 3. Resistance Bands Resistance bands are lightweight and portable, making them a convenient option for home workouts. They can be used for a variety of exercises, such as bicep curls, lateral raises, and leg extensions. 4. Weight Machines Weight machines at the gym can be a great option for those who are new to weight training, or want to focus on specific muscle groups. Examples include leg press, chest fly, and lat pulldown. It's important to start slowly, and gradually increase the intensity of your workouts to avoid injury. It's also important to focus on proper form and technique, to ensure that you're getting the most out of your workouts, and avoiding injury. So, which is better? Cardio or weight training? The answer is that both are important for maintaining our physical health as we age. Cardio workouts can improve cardiovascular health and endurance, while weight training can improve muscular strength and bone density. The key is to find the balance that works for you, and to listen to your body. Always start slowly, and gradually increase the intensity of your workouts to avoid injury. That being said, it's important to keep in mind that everyone's body is different, and what works for one person may not work for another. It's always a good idea to consult with a healthcare professional before starting a new exercise routine, especially if you have any underlying health conditions or concerns. They can help you determine the best exercises for your individual needs and goals. Here are some other benefits you can gain with cardio and weight exercises. Cardio exercises can improve not only cardiovascular health, but also respiratory health. As we age, our lung function may decline, making it harder to breathe. Regular cardio exercise can help improve lung function, and reduce the risk of respiratory problems. Weight training can also have benefits for heart health. Studies have shown that weight training can help lower blood pressure, and reduce the risk of heart disease. In addition to improving physical health, exercise can also have mental health benefits. Regular exercise has been shown to reduce symptoms of depression and anxiety, improve cognitive function, and boost overall mood and well-being. When it comes to weight training, it's important to focus on compound exercises that work multiple muscle groups at once. These exercises can help improve overall strength and functional fitness, making it easier to perform everyday activities. It's also important to include exercises that target the core muscles, such as planks and crunches. Core strength is important for maintaining good posture, balance, and stability, which can reduce the risk of falls and injuries. It's worth noting that exercise can also help improve sleep quality, which is important for overall health and well-being. Regular exercise can help regulate the sleep-wake cycle and improve sleep quality, making it easier to fall asleep and stay asleep. And here are some important points to take note of. It's important to note that the intensity and type of exercise that's best for you will depend on your individual fitness level, health status, and personal preferences. It's always a good idea to consult with a healthcare professional before starting a new exercise routine, especially if you have any underlying health conditions or concerns. When starting a new exercise routine, it's important to start slowly and gradually increase the intensity and duration of your workouts. This will help reduce the risk of injury and ensure that you're not overexerting yourself. It's important to incorporate both cardio and weight training into your exercise routine, to get the full range of health benefits. However, the ratio of cardio to weight training will depend on your individual goals and preferences. If you're new to weight training, it's important to focus on proper form and technique to avoid injury. Consider working with a personal trainer or taking a weight training class to learn the proper form for each exercise. It's worth noting that exercise is just one component of a healthy lifestyle. Eating a balanced diet, getting enough sleep, and managing stress are also important for maintaining our physical and mental health as we age. Finally, it's important to remember that exercise can be fun and enjoyable. Experiment with different types of exercise to find what you enjoy the most, whether it's dancing, swimming, weightlifting, or something else entirely. The more you enjoy your workouts, the more likely you are to stick with them. I hope these points provide you with some additional information and insights on the topic of cardio versus weight training after the age of 50.
Remember, the key is to find the balance that works for you, and to focus on gradual, sustainable progress towards your fitness goals. Before we give you the action steps, do remember to subscribe to Health Code 50 Plus for more great videos like this. Action Steps Here are the action steps that you can take right away, to incorporate the knowledge from this video into your daily routine. 1. Choose one new exercise to incorporate into your routine this week. It could be a new cardio exercise, such as walking or cycling, or a new weight training exercise, such as body weight squats or bicep curls. 2. Start slowly, and gradually increase the intensity and duration of your workouts over time. For example, if you choose walking as your new exercise, start with a 10 to 15 minute walk, and gradually increase the duration or intensity as your fitness improves. 3. Focus on proper form and technique, to ensure that you're getting the most out of your workouts, and avoiding injury. Consider working with a personal trainer, or taking a fitness class to learn proper form for new exercises. 4. Make exercise a habit by scheduling it into your daily routine. For example, you could schedule a morning walk, or a midday weight training session. 5. Remember to listen to your body, and give yourself enough time to recover between workouts. If you experience pain or discomfort, stop the exercise, and consult with a healthcare professional. By taking these action steps, you can start incorporating the knowledge from this video into your daily routine right away. Remember, the key is to start slowly, focus on proper form and technique, and make exercise a habit that works for you. And that's it for today's video. We hope you found this information helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks for watching.